you guys watched the whole last uh, video with the photo shoot, which I don't blame you if you don't because I like to ramble like I am right now, but I'm on my way to see a different house now because the house we put an offer in sold. This one's kind of in um, Bumfrick, Egypt, kind of way north, like 30 something minutes north from us, but uh, it's closer to where I work, further away from where she works, so it's kind of eh. There is no paved driveway, but there is a detached two-car garage with a lift already. And it's in our price range. It's on two acres, so it's more yard work, which is, we're kind of trying to downgrade because I already spend like two something hours a week doing yard stuff. But this place will actually justify getting a riding mower, so it shouldn't take as long. But obviously, you know, I'm gonna spend more money, but with the money I'm making off the house, we easily get a mower so um, I'm almost there it's an open house today I'm gonna FaceTime her the whole time basically but I'll pull uh, my phone out and go back in and shut the garage off uh, after I do the tour with her on FaceTime she's in Minnesota with the baby at a funeral and stuff so she's not currently here I spent what was it in two Wednesday miles, turn Thursday left and Friday Road. like a combined 16 hours working on my buddy Isaac's car putting it back in stock did turbo intake inlet plugs intercooler wheels springs I think that might be it and put it completely back to stock downpipe exhaust as well so that was a nice pretty penny I ordered up the uh, Maxton stuff and it'll be here Monday so I got a front splitter the V4 front splitter um, that's gloss black the side skirts they're matte black because all the gloss black ones they had were like super aggressive like had weird design on them and I didn't think it would flow right with the car and then I got those rear spat things that go on like the side of the rear bumper that kind of looks makes my diffuser look like it goes all the way around the bumper uh, but it doesn't go the whole way it goes almost the whole way I thought it went the whole way it doesn't but whatever it's gonna look great so that's something to look forward to and then my dad's coming down next weekend he's gonna do autocross with me we're gonna co-drive the car and he's gonna help me install those parts so we got like one two three maybe four videos coming out or four videos to make this Stay coming in week the middle lane. which is awesome there was actually autocross practice today and I didn't even know about it um, so I'm kind of like salty about that today's my first day off in like two weeks I Stay in the middle got lane. up early and went we're almost there. I'll show you guys this garage. I'm looking at this place. There's hella parking. There's other people here to come look, but look at this garage real quick. They said, obviously, the lift is negotiable, so uh, definitely try to negotiate that, but it's got its own little tire rack over there. Um, I don't think I'll be able to really try and get much else, but I'd assume that these benches are bolted to the wall so all these nice little workbenches and stuff would stay it's got a heater in here boom wood and uh it's got air running to it but they're taking the compressor there's plenty of room for activities out here plenty 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 so hopefully we wind up getting this garage I paint these walls, get some nicer LEDs up there, and we'll be set. Like this would be legit. Now we are like, like I said, a bit away from where we were, which is fine because it's like city life in there. I'd rather be out here in the country where it's quiet. This is a clean ass car too. And there's a bunch of uh, project cars out back. Oh, there's a Kirky. Huh. There's some projects out there, but. I really like this. I want it. Pray for me. Really hope we can get that house. So we're back at my place. I just did a tire rotation uh, just because we got autocross coming up and I wanted to get some miles on the front. You know, they get a little bit more worn, uh, you know, when you're turning the steering wheel and stuff. So those are now on the back and I bought some spacers. They're not very big. I think these are the threes, three millimeter or the five millimeter. I can't remember. But I got it a little bit closer. I think that's about on par with how the front is. So actually the front might be a little bit closer. But I got them for pretty cheap, so I figured I'd toss them on. 
I'm showing up to this meet. It did like sprinkle a little bit earlier this week. Got some nice grime on there, but it's whatever. Go out. Dirty. Oh, okay. So, um, usually I'm not a big like arrow kind of guy. You know, it's not like real arrow, it's a little fake arrow, but my golf, at least my Mark 7, I didn't really put anything on it, I think. No, I just put that little, actually Maxton, a uh, little wing extension on the, the hatch spoiler thing. And that was it. And then I took off the little side ones on the, it came off that, like on the glass. But after seeing these on a car, I, uh, I just had to do it. And plus the S3 looks kind of empty up front. Like it looks like it's made like, it's like made intent with intention to have some um, a lip on it. And I didn't want to get a lip without skirts. So these are the skirts and they are not gloss. So down the side of my car, and I'll put a little picture here or something. You got like the gloss looking thing. Um, I didn't want to add like another gloss piece under that because I feel like it'd just be kind of weird. So these are matte black and a more like durable type of plastic. Or maybe it's like what Aerofab uses and stuff too. Or at least similar. I can even get the nail thing open. Okay, so that's good. I hear some jingling. There's some hardware in here. So. Alright, let's get these bad boys open. Pull that out from there. Okay, this is interesting. So it's not like totally mad, but it's kind of glossy on it. So just uh, stick up under the car somehow. It's like uh, some interesting cutouts here. Oh, it is like matte. Okay, so I lied. Once you peel the stuff off, it's like matte black under there. Either way, they're gonna look great. Oh, look, they're like bolted together too. Well, this will be interesting to see how this all goes together. Well, at least it came with hardware. So there's that. Slide that out of the way. And there were supposed to be actually three things. And I guess maybe they're both in this one. Of course here, we got a box that won't allow me to take my stuff off. All right, had to cut the box all the way open. Oh yeah, so it's taped, so it's flat around. See, smart on that. I'm just a dummy. So, you go to these. These go on the back of the car. So you guys know I got that rigger diffuser. I was gonna get their front lip too, but for the price of the lip, I got this lip, these rear spats, and those side plates. So. I think these look a little bit better, honestly, but the rigger, rear diffuser looks the best out of all the options, which is just maxing the rigger. So these go on the back up against the diffuser and do like the side profile of the car, of the bumper. So this will go from the diffuser to um, the rear wheel. So it looks more full. Hopefully they fit up okay. It did come with hardware. I thought it'd be like two-sided tape type thing, but uh, at least there's some instruction with it. And of course, the number one. I cannot wait. This is gonna make the car look so much more complete. It's the car just the, the front end of the car just looks like it's begging for a, a lip. Yeah. I think it's huge. This thing literally weighs like a pound. Well, there we go. We got the front lift. I like the the way this looks here. It really matches with like the I don't know that part of the bumper. Like the way the black comes up on the bumper and the way this goes on it should look pretty dope. Anyway, stay tuned. Uh, what's this sound on that? Oh, that's a part number. That's cool. Stay tuned for the next video. My dad's going to be down here. We're going to go to autocross this weekend, and he's going to help me put this stuff on. So that'll be pretty interesting. Let me know what you guys think. Um, 
I'll put a clip here. I'm going to put this up to the car after I say goodbye. I hope you can get at least a sneak peek at how it looks. But let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. And I'll take a clean flop. All right, guys, it's kind of hard to do this by yourself. You can kind of see what I was talking about, like where that little indent is and where it's going to sit. And I think it like flows with the shape. Um, I just have like my little light under there trying to hold it up, but obviously it doesn't support the weight of everything. But I think it's going to turn out really good.